love my beautiful flowers. I'm sick. I'm in, like in a hotel room and this video just keeps getting postponed for very valid reasons, but I decided today's the day the video's happening because like I really want to move this series forward. So in last video, I talked about how personal style is basically just a series of choices you make. And I explained the general concept that we have a style logic, which is a pr thing that helps you make the decisions and helps you be confident about the style decisions you make. So in today's video, talking about how the style logic works within the style key, which is my system for joyful and effective personal style. So I came up with a really fun model analogy to explain the style logic and basically I want you to see the style logic as a sandwich. So on the bottom and on top of the sandwich you have like the bread, right? Which is like the architectural support. It's the thing that kind of, it's the thing that keeps the sandwich together and basically makes it work. And then inside the sandwich you have different stuff. You have like, I don't know, cheese, tomatoes, whatever you want to have in there. There's like endless opportunities and this is relevant to the analogy. Okay, so the sandwiches are delicious, but I'm going to explain like what this has to do with the style key. So in the style key, you always need in the style logic some sort of a starting point and in the sandwich analogy this is like the bottom bread slice the thing that everything rests upon and so when I say starting point for style what does that mean whenever you're choosing an outfit for the day from your closet if you're living out of your bag what are you gonna pull out or if you're going through a wardrobe upgrade phase and you need to get something new you have to start somewhere this is like the initial idea the first source of inspiration this starting point helps you get focused when you you're standing in front of the closet when you're browsing in the store it helps you to answer the question what type of thing am I looking for what do I want to wear or to get and the thing is you might not have a consistent starting point and as I'm talking about this you realize like oh it's kind of go with the flow and okay if going with the flow works for you like that's great this is this fine but for many people let's be honest going with the flow doesn't work you get swept up by the flow out to like a stormy dark sea where you're like lost and overwhelmed and you're like oh okay having a consistent starting point the thing i'm teaching you about the bottom bread slice that's like an anchor that's gonna keep you steady and gonna help you i don't know just stay grounded in the style process so if you want to have a starting point that bottom bread slice where can you start what is the starting point in the style key there's two types of starting points. There's the internal starting point and the external starting point. If you're using the external as your starting point, you're looking for inspiration anywhere in the world around you. So if you're going out to dinner, maybe you look up images of the restaurant. Oh, it's intimate and romantic, you know, so I'm gonna wear something lacy and romantic. Or you might think about like the feeling of the dinner, like where are you going? Oh, I'm gonna see some friends I haven't seen in a while. It's nostalgic, so I wanna wear something like, you know, festive and extra. <clears throat> Or you might be inspired externally by like a cool outfit photo. You saw somebody wearing something cool and you want to recreate it, right? Uh, so these are all examples of external inspiration. And in my system, the Moonstone and the Sapphire Keys use external as their starting point. Now, if you're using the internal as a starting point, you're starting within yourself. I'm going out to dinner. And your first question is like, okay, well, what's going on with me today? <laughs> like, maybe I'm like, oh, there's a creative vision inside me. There's some sort of imagery. You don't need to explain these ideas. You just, you know, you're like, oh, I want to dress up like a tropical flower today. Or it might be sensations. Like, you're like, I really feel like I want to wrap myself up in a certain type of fabric because that's how my body is feeling. Or maybe it's like you've been getting really in touch with your creativity recently as a person, and that's something you want to bring through your clothes, right? You're like, I want these people to see that I'm a cool creative person. <laughs> so these are all examples of internal inspiration, and in my system, the ruby and the amethyst keys use these as their starting point. Okay, <laughs> let's take a moment here just to, like, I want to acknowledge the big thing in the room. You might feel like, okay well both of these things are important to me do I have to choose one Rita and you know it's a great question that's why it's the obvious next question it's really important to understand that we're talking in the style key about a deliberate choice to practice focusing on one of these things as your starting point so choosing a thing and practicing that thing we are not at all separating people into like people who have like an inner life versus people who like care about the world around them because all human beings operate in external environments we all take cues from the world around us every single one of us and 
all people have a rich inner life and a need to honor that and be authentic. So we're not looking for the type of person you are. We're looking for like which tool most effectively helps you. It's like a language. Which one of these would be easier for you to pick up? So the style cue suggests that the type of inspiration you should practice based on your quadrant. That's the starting point. That's the bottom bread slice in the sandwich. And I'll talk about the top bread slice. That's the result, right? <laughs> the, the top thing, the outcome. And that's how we know whether we made the right choice with our style, the destination. And again, we are keeping things really simple. So there's two options. You have the experience focus and you have the impression focus. If your style is experience focused, that means you're primarily judging the experience that your style gives you, how you feel about the outfit. For example, if your goal is to feel put together and elegant, it's like, well, how elegant do you feel? Not oh, Tanya at work is wearing high heels and you're worried you don't look elegant enough next to her. It's about you being the most important audience for yourself. Or if you have a desire to look romantic and flirty, you might wear a red chiffon maxi dress. And then it's like, well, does it make you feel romantic and flirty? Because maybe other people think it's romantic and flirty, but for you, like, red is so intense, the neckline is so low, and actually, like, your movements and your body language in that dress are kind of like, oh uncomfortable so it's not at all flirty for you right so these are all examples of the experience focus judging like how well you're landing it based on how you feel and ruby and the moonstone keys use this as their focus their top red slice if on the other hand your style is impression focused that means you're primarily judging the impression that your style makes it's how you are able to come across how you're able to show yourself to other people it's not about sacrificing authenticity to please others it's just about acknowledging that you have a strong desire to be seen and to be like understood by other people and for you to get that and do that you need to focus on the impression you're making it's like you want your clothes to say something about you so that you don't have to say it yourself but if you're just wearing jeans and a simple sweater with like a, i don't know a pair of flats your clothes don't really tell that much about who you are which undermines the desire to make the impression if you want the impression focus you would want to choose something that says something more about you. So Amethyst and Sapphire use the impression focus with their style. As with the internal external starting point, obviously, you know, if you're thinking this, you're so right. Every person wants to have a good experience in their clothes and every person wants to make a good impression. The point of the style key is that you decide what is the, my priority and you work with the priority. What is the most important thing for me? biggest breakthroughs my clients have seen which is like hundreds of people I promise you is figuring out what is your priority and allowing yourself to actually go for that because these things are not easy to focus on at the same time it's very hard to focus both on getting the best experience of your clothes and the right impression i've seen people you know who have with the left up who are using the amethyst key they could just be like oh you know i don't really care i just trying to dress for me i don't care what other people think i just need to do what works for me but for that person like that's just a quick ticket to disappointment central and frustration and feeling invisible and frumpy and powerless because like you do care you care very very much and you should let yourself care and you should let that caring be a priority it's super important to get these two aspects correct the two bread pieces the starting point and the end result because they're gonna help you make choices and evaluate your choices. And now you might be remembering at this point, you're like, wait a second, Rita, like a sandwich is not just bread. <laughs> it's like, like what could say the important stuff is the stuff in the middle as well. So far you've just given us the bread. So what's in the middle between the starting point and the end result are the styling techniques. These are all of the strategies you use to actually create the outfit, which respects your starting point, whether that's internal or external, and which achieves your goal, which is, you know, the desired experience or the desired impression. It's kind of how you go from A to B. And I have styling techniques for each style key, of course, but this is also the place where you can bring in any style system or any style advice of any kind that you value. So we're gonna talk about this in upcoming videos. I'm gonna give you a rundown of each style key and talk about that. But I'm also gonna show you some specific examples of creating outfits using the style key and multiple other style systems of your choice. The beautiful style is so much. Okay, so the next video is gonna be the Ruby style key explanation. I'll see you then. Bye!